people are just so openly racist. Good morning guys, it's a beautiful day. Today we are taking my RV to the first doctor's appointment. <laughs> She is going, yes, she's a she. <laughs> I, I, I was just like, why do we have this tendency to label things? But she's a she, <laughs> she told me. She is going to get her first set of repairs done today and I'm very excited. Although it's gonna put a little dent in the wallet, it's gonna put less dents in the RV. So <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really excited because she's going to get a rebuilt carburetor a tune-up and a couple of other things done so I'm really excited to get some of the first repairs done so let's go actually um, I also need to note that in order to start moving the RV I had to put away a lot of things because you don't want stuff just like flying around I had to put all the things away from the counter the stove the table make sure nothing is gonna go flying around when I'm on the road because that's the worst thing is when you're driving and then like you just hear something in the back go <laughs> so yeah safety first I put this curtain up last night but I will just have to just tie it in more securely next time this is the first time driving with this curtain in the back I've been using the restroom with no curtain <laughs> it's very low so your head is just there I have a new I love how I can use this as a pointer <laughs> I, I'm actually wearing my mask by the way so <laughs> I sound like this let me take it off so I have a new trip permit and it's not a trip permit this is a temporary operation permit or something like that my trip permit was just more of like a one-way kind of like get to your destination type thing this is a one month permit to drive around look how pretty this is so beautiful. So my RV is going to take a couple of days to get repaired because they have to rebuild the carburetor. So I will not be in this thing for a couple of days. And I decided that since I'm not going to be driving back to my mom's, I am going to have some wine before I leave this RV. <laughs> Cheers to my first RV repairs. <laughs> mm. $3 at Walmart. Thank you, Walmart. I'm gonna move my RV because the street sweeper is going to come on the street where the RV repair place is, so. I'm just like sitting here waiting for them to start coming down the street so I can drive around the block and once they're gone just park back <laughs> so I'm gonna do that I can see like the other RVs down the street I just received some really sad news very I guess disappointing got some bad news today but before that I ended up having a very racist situation 
with um one of the mechanics at the rv repair place it's really unfortunate um he's not the one that's working on my rv he's someone that just works there and he said a really racist slur towards asians about the coronavirus and i am just really not having it today after that and then i got some bad news after that um so i did speak up to him about it because i don't sit around for that kind of racist behavior um especially because i didn't feel like i was in any danger i just spoke up about it um but i just people are just so openly racist and it's ridiculous and it's not like oh hide it but like just don't be <laughs> today was going great i was having a great day and i'm still going to have a great day because i'm not gonna let it stop me and even though i've received some very mm, i wouldn't say it's sad news it's just really unfortunate news I'm gonna have a good day <laughs> and I'm gonna push forward because that's that's what I always do and yeah so I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever this video finds you it's a beautiful day let's have a great rest of the day <laughs> I will definitely say that backing up is the hardest part about my RV so far. It's not so bad actually. Um, I would like to get a, um, a backup camera, but it's not so bad. I definitely like the mirrors that I have because they really help me to see a lot. I'm good. I definitely would like to get a backup camera because it will make a big difference in my backing up experience but I really like that I have these large side windows because the RV that I was going to get before this that um, I bought for like two minutes that one had two small mirrors on each side like one small one and one small one top and bottom on each side but these large long mirrors make such a big difference and I'm so glad that they already came with this RV RV because oh my gosh these these mirrors make a major difference in backing up and I'm able to see very well from the sides and I can see if there's a car behind me but it definitely would make a big difference if I had a backup camera so that's one of the kind of like electronic things that I'm looking forward to um, I do have some things that I have in mind like a generator and all that kind of stuff but I have a solar panel I have a portable power station I can power my things without a generator and I'm doing pretty well without with what I have right now but yeah I just thought I'd share with you guys um, that backing up is one of the challenges in an RV and usually when I'm at a, a store or something I park really far away which is what I would do anyway because my RV is 23 feet Goodbye for a couple of days. I will see you after you have had your first doctor's appointment. So I'm at the park and I met up with one of my friends and I'm so excited. Her name is Dana. Say hello. Hi. Yay. I'm so excited because we've been talking for a really long time. Oh, yeah. Do you want to tell them how we met? Um, yeah. So yeah. basically, um, I recently went to China and I went to Thailand and um, basically just was curious about going to Vietnam. I'd had an interview for Vietnam and I just started off with an interview. Um, somehow I landed here in California because I didn't want to deal with the bad weather and it's just I don't know it's really weird because we happen to be in a country at the same time we just started talking about all kinds of things related to travel 
and we're finally here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. It's crazy because um, we were late on, on so many levels. Yeah. And just, it's been really great to talk to you. And it's crazy, like, to finally meet up with you after all of our conversations. Yeah, it's been a great little adventure meeting up and finally um bridging the gap i guess you would say <laughs> right 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 <laughs> yeah it's so much it's so weird how so much is actually true to form on yeah. the internet and it's not like it with, between us like sometimes mm -hmm. people can be really like weird yeah. or inauthentic but we really have had some really authentic conversations up to now so it doesn't even seem like Mm -hmm. except like a 3d hologram yeah like i mean like <laughs> it doesn't even feel like this is our first time meeting aside yeah. from that like oh my gosh it's great to see you in person right. but it's that's one thing like whenever i meet people who i've met through online you know i feel like you guys could be my friends and then when i meet you guys i'm just like yeah you guys could because i feel like we are we find each other through a mutual interest and that just kind of connects us so usually people who find me are like into travel language or culture or something like that um or many other things that I, the random things i talk about but i feel like we really relate once once i meet so yeah yay great to meet up with you <laughs>